Hi Capricorn, let's see your current energies with the person right now and how do you both feel about each other? How uh, do they see you and the next move outcome and all the messages surrounding that? Since this is a general message, take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more personals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. All the details are given down below in the description box. Capricorn, let's see the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus Signs plus Ross Watches. Take what resonates, guys. Okay. Capricorn, please. All right. Okay, this person's feelings towards you. Their next move, how do they see you? Your feelings towards this person. Your next move towards them, how do you see them? The outcome. And there you go. All right, so their feelings towards you. Wow, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like right now this person has been wanting to put their best foot forward when it comes to uh, meeting you, proposing you, coming towards you, just uh, communicating with you. They're, they're very interested in you, okay? This person is also a little hesitant and I feel like in their head they're like they don't want to spoil this, okay? Somewhere they're thinking about you. They keep thinking about... Uh, what are you doing uh, what are your choices in life what is going on with you they're always wondering about what's going on with you okay and they're shy i feel like your person is shy they may have a good build all right they have a good build and this person is a little hesitant in making a move towards you like should i start where should i start from is this the right time for me to make a move or should i wait because I tend to like like them. And I feel like your thoughts are getting over this person now. They've started to see an importance in this relationship. They want to put efforts, but they're also hesitant. The judgment. I feel like they're thinking way too much around uh, whether you guys are going to be good match, whether this is going to work out or not, whether they're going to like it or not, whether you will judge them or not. So there are a lot of things that they, this person is uh, thinking around that. They are in this discernment mode. They are trying to make a decision. They're unsure. Temperance. I'm seeing that this person is in no rush right now. Okay. But they don't want to make a wrong move towards you. Something about you that makes this person feel more positive, relaxed. You give them that healing vibe. You also make them feel like home. And this person is still trying to figure out, is this the right time for them? Because somewhere they're trying to balance the energies, uh, trying to make themselves sure before they're coming towards you. So they're not like 100% sure, but they have a feeling like you could be the one. Okay. And they have some um, loving feelings towards you. But at times they try to figure out they are trying to observe you so closely. They're just not easy going because of the past. Maybe they had. Why is this person not taking a quick move towards you? Or yes, two of pentacles. They're still making a decision. They want to be sure. This person is also planning of should I call um, the Capricorn? Should I wait? Or will this connection be on the, the, the main thing that I'm seeing in this um in their feelings towards you is that they want an equal give and take will you be giving them okay that kind of respect that they have towards love that they have towards you so they're fearful of not getting anything in return or you not making efforts towards them that is what is making them feel a little indecisive confused or they're discerning right now okay the star they're very excited they have seen you as someone you know um that has caught this person's attention so much there's something special about you uh they have never felt so strongly connected with anyone they have special feelings for you you know and they want to discover it 
and they're also slowing down because they do not know whether it's just a initial attraction or there is actually something special that they feel for you so that is why this person is contemplating right now they also fantasize about you late night they think about uh you and them <clears throat> Uh, spending time together talking about random things they have something going on in their head they do have feelings but this person is still trying to figure out what exactly they feel for you but there's one thing for sure that they feel at home with you they have special feelings for you they want an equal give and take they're shy they're hesitant and they're also a little nervous i would say that is why they just want to also put the best foot forward while they're reaching out to you this could be an aquarius this could be a libra or an aries sagittarius cancer so these are the signs that i'm getting another thing that i'm seeing is over here let's see uh, their next move i'm strongly sensing you're dealing with an aquarius i've recently done an aquarius read you can check out i'll provide you the link below for aquarius read <clears throat> The fool, I feel like this person is ready to take a leap of faith towards you. They're like, let it be. I don't care about the outcome. I just have to uh, get to know this Capricorn. I just want to go to this person. I want to live with this person. I want to talk to this person. I don't care. I want them. For some of you, this person also has taken a tarot reading from someone to release a doubt in their head. Either ways, they've been getting random answers. This person's ready to take an action, leap of faith towards you. They're not thinking about the past, present or future. They're just thinking about the good energies that they have felt from you. So I'm seeing them taking a leap of faith towards you. For sure. So they want to start a new beginning with you. They feel a strong pull. They feel a strong energy towards you. Please clarify the fool here. Yes, yeah, see, this person is traveling. They, they are traveling. They were stuck in the past. They were a little uh, stagnant. Okay. I feel soon. I feel within seven days time. They're still in this contemplation mode. But in the end of the day, what they're doing is taking action towards. They're making a move towards you. Fast move. Both of you may be, may be having pets. Some of you met this person at a park or near your apartment. <clears throat> in a society, in a community. But I'm definitely seeing that this person has decided to travel towards you. They're traveling towards you. They're getting ready. They're pulling the car from their garage and heading directly towards you. That's what is going on in this person's mind. Like there's something special. You've done something on this person. Like now they cannot stop thinking about you. So this is like a major arcana. Other feelings are just simply that keep on changing. You know, temperance, they feel like home with you. This is a changing energy. This keeps on changing. Right now they might be in doubt, but later they will not be in doubt. Judgment. Yes, they just want to be sure whatever they decide works out. Okay. They have a homely feeling with you. They they're also planning about family they also do think about family with you this person feels like there's something special in you that they want to be with you they want to be close and warm with you i feel this person is taking a um, leap of faith towards you they're traveling towards you okay how do they see you two pentacles again two pentacles two pentacles you had this two pentacles see they want an equal give and take. They do these do see you as someone that respects them, someone that does, uh, you know, show um, efforts towards them, someone that is equally interested in them, someone that is um, uh, wanting to communicate with them. That's how they see you. They also see you as someone that knows how to balance a relationship, balance things. They also see you as someone that is making good money. Some of you met at a grocery shop, okay? Someone is working over there. But this person has this feeling like they see you as someone that will, if they reach out to you, you will um, be with this person for eternity. You're not going to ditch them or you're not going to, um, you know, cheat on them. So they feel it inside of them that you are the person you're a gem of a person and that you will never uh, ditch them or you will never cheat on them you will be loyal there is something infinite like longevity coming from your vibe coming from your aura queen of swords yes that's how they see you they see you being very particular about your family they see you as someone that is 
already looking for marriage, relationship, settling down, or being with someone that you can have a lifelong connection, a lifelong emotional bond with. And you, you know what, they, they also see that you're very particular about it. Okay, for you, marriage is beyond or family is beyond anything else. You can fight for your family. You're someone that will do anything for your family. And you're very strict and assertive about your uh, relationships. So if they ditch you, you're not going to spare them. That's also how they see you. So they see you as someone that believes in equal give and take and that will expect marriage. Okay, your feelings towards them. Five of Pentacles. Just because this person is doubting, you have confusions. Okay. Uh, Five of Pentacles is also confusion card. Nine of Wands. How do you feel about this person? You're like, why is this person not making a move? Maybe because they don't want to talk to me. You don't want to talk to this person because you're angry. You're in this queen of sword energy, okay? Because this person is taking time. This person is not showing you clear signs. Six of wands. You have a lot to speak to this person, but you will not take action towards this person because you know that it's their turn. The, you want this person to fight for you. Since they're not doing that or it's not apparent, you're getting irritated. This is irritating you. You do have strong attraction towards this person, but you feel like they are just wasting your time and you may need to close yourself off from this person. You're trying to close your feelings from this person by not talking to them because they took a lot of time and you're like, no, they're not interested. So I will also show uh, disinterest. Okay. In the past, maybe they did something. What happened between you and this person? Or is this a new person? Queen of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Okay, you think this person has two loves. One is you and there is one more person in their life. And this is the reason why you're angry at this person. I feel that is why we got the juggling energy. Okay, this person has two people in their life and they're trying to figure out who to be with. Don't, don't think they're cheating on you. This person is not cheating on you. They just want... Say, for example, you had options. You would have chosen between the two options, which one is best because you're looking for long term. This person is also looking for long term, but they're not sure whom to trust or who is the one for me. They're talking to two people, you and the other person. And that is why you came to know about this. Okay, you came to know about this, that there is some someone else around. So you hung up on them or you stopped talking to this person. You're angry. That is why we got the queen of swords. Uh, they, they see you as someone that is not talking to them because you feel used and they're not feeling good about this because they, they want to tell you that it was not their intention. They just want to be with someone with whom their vibe will connect and they can live or have a happy family with someone for the lifelong um, I feel you want this marriage more than this person wants right now because they're just focusing on the journey and you're focusing on the outcome. That is why there is confusion. So you're angry at this person, you saw them with someone else or you figured out that there is someone else in the picture and you feel like this person is a player and you don't want to talk to this person, you're closing yourself off. Even though you have attraction, but you're controlling your feelings. Your next move towards this person. Oh my gosh, the devil. This could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Your next move towards this person. You're trying to move on from this person because you feel hurt. You feel hurt. They're not taking any action. You're like, no, I'm, I'm not going to spare this person. You're very angry. You're in a revenge. Even though you're not going to take a revenge, I know this thing, but you might be in revenge mode. You're angry. You don't want to talk to this person. You're like, I'm hearing shut up. You won't tell this person to shut up. Okay? Because you're angry. Your heart is aching right now. You, want, you don't want to talk to this person. Even if they reach out, you will still avoid them. Your intuition is telling this is not right and that this person could be a narcissist. I feel like the reason why you don't want to go forward and reach out to this person or talk to this person because you don't want to be controlled. Okay, you're seeing this person as a narcissist, I feel right now. Or you're just feeling like you're, you want to break away the control or you want to break away the God that is trying to control this relationship. You're hurting. 
you're thinking way negative about this person which is not true okay why are they talking to two different people what do they want just clarify for you someone owns a she hulk she chihuahua that's what you say right or any other dog like labrador yes two of wands that there is definitely two people in the picture page of swords i feel like they're testing they're just testing one's loyalty and everybody has the right i feel let's just let them be you be you yourself and they're not sure who to pick so they're trying to figure out who's the one for them so it's not over they're coming this person's coming there's something special about you that is why they're still stuck on you how do they see you uh i feel like right now this person thinks that you want to communicate and you want marriage you want deep commitment you want loyalty you want 100% of their attention but i'm seeing this this energy also feels like this person hasn't yet made a decision that they want to get married but they definitely think highly of you and they're talking to two people they're testing who is the one for me okay and then how do you see this was sorry this came in reverse how do you see this person you think this person is illogical okay and is trying to drain you all right they're trying to drain you that's how you see this person four of swords six of pentacles i'm going to uh see this like that four of swords and the six of pentacles you see this person that is relaxing they don't want to take a move they don't want to take a plunge they don't want to make efforts you see this person as someone that enjoys the attention okay that wants people to make efforts towards them but they don't want to do anything okay you see this person as illogical okay someone that could be a planner a negative planner you see this person as distracted always like uh, jumping from one person to other and they don't and they are uh, they are also having this tendency to of playing with people mind game playing mind games with people that's how you see this person right now you think they play mind games do you uh, you see this person as someone that has a restless mind and doesn't stay at one place she also sees this person is mentally sick or unstable <laughs> mentally unstable that's how you see this person you also see this person as someone that is materialistic obsessed with money and just wants all the attention towards them that's how you see this what is the most probable outcome seven of swords Whoa, I never thought this is going to end up like that. Seven of Swords. Someone is lying. Someone is finally cheating. Let me clarify the Seven of Swords energy. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you will lose trust in this person. They're still trying to console you. they're still trying to console you. Okay, let's just get back with each other. I know I shouldn't do this. but you have trust issues seven of swords because you saw something in this person's phone or you someone told you maybe a reader told you or something happened that destroyed your trust in this person now you see this person as a liar since this came up as a reverse that means that they have they take a very long time to try to understand your emotions and they're not able to catch what is bothering you and that is troublesome for you So the outcome seems to be like even though you guys will start talking to each other once again but you will continue to distrust them and stay away from them or stay upset from this person you'll continue to stay upset from this person they'll keep on consoling you but there will be never a topic of marriage raised by this person they will just end up confu uh, confusing you with the seven seven toys this person does not know themselves what they want they are in this energy where they just they like you you're special but they just don't know you know uh how to end up 
you know, what is this person's problem? What is this person's major problem? Let me see. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, that's the that that's the challenge. Okay, we have the tower, we have the justice reverse, we have the eros. They don't want to be tied down to a relationship. They don't want marriage. They want you. They really like you as a person, but they also see themselves not enough uh financially abundant to be able to keep this relationship or keep this connection secure or stable they don't see themselves as financially stable in order to have a family they do dream about a family they do feel like home but when it comes to taking action this person freaks out they they're scared of losing freedom it's okay with them being alone but not being in a marriage so I feel like uh, th this is the reason why they're totally lost in life because this person knows the value of marriage but they can't because they are scared of losing their uh, freedom. They want to stay like eight of swords reverse energy which means that they want to be in this energy of uh, being single. Leave me alone. I'm alone. I'm happy. Okay. They don't want to build home. They don't want to build. They want to be alone. If they, in case, end up marrying you or anyone else, they'll destroy their own home because they are in this energy where they just do not want responsibility or commitment. Marriage. Marriage is something that challenges them, that scares them, and they're not ready to face it. Yeah, they don't want to be bound legally. That's the thing. What is the advice for you in this case? This could be a Libra as well. Yeah, the Temperance card came out again. Okay. Okay, I will just take this and shuffle a little bit. Advice, please. Give me an advice. One advice, please. Page of Wands. Page of Cups. You have to take it very, very slow with this person because what I'm seeing is they want a kid, but they don't want marriage. They don't want to be with you for the lifetime. They're not ready for anything like that right now. Okay? This person could be a Sagittarius, but I feel like they themselves are a childish person right now. They're like a child. They want to grow. They want to travel. They want to have fun. They would end up in a relationship with you. The third party will leave. But when it comes to lifelong commitment something that is solid something that is like tying a knot this is something that freaks them out if you're okay with this because it requires adjustment if you want to be with this person if you're okay with this go ahead there will be a relationship okay they will be committed uh, but when it comes to marriage when it comes to legally um, married you know that word they won't be good for that now i feel this you might even have babies with them if your age allows but I feel like um, this person themselves are a kid. So if you want something like um, short term, there will be no third party. But then you can't expect this person to stay for anywhere longer than two years. Okay, maximum two years. And this person is someone that keeps on like learning. They want to learn. They want to grow. They want to explore. They're not in this energy of settling down okay it's very difficult to deal with kids a big kid okay so this person is a good person they're not a bad person at all so that's the advice for you it's up to you if you're ready to take what this person wants and not expect something that you want from this person then this can work out and if you really want you know you guys should come back to each other for a lifelong relationship which is less likely there is a need for you to keep patience with this person and let them learn with time, okay? The value of long-term relationship, which is very less possible. It's, it's not much likely here. So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read, Capricorn. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you back again with more stuff. Bye.